Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some good old Dokkan battle. For grinding talking, of course. Uh, today we're going to go into the World Tournament, which is probably one of the worst game modes in general, which is a uh, fancy that, considering that, you know, easy gate areas exist. So yeah, we're just going to be grinding, and that's it. And I didn't want to listen to Dokkan music for however long. Uh, so I brought, of course, the classic tunes of Black Knight 2000, <laughs> the pinball game. So that's what we're going to be doing. But yeah, I'm doing this on video because I need to do it. And I know if I don't start it, um, I'll never actually finish it. So that's where we are. Oops. I'm also using Resurrected Warriors. I think I need... You got the power... Oh, ha, ha, ha. You got the might? No way. Get ready for battle. Beat the Black Knight. Oh, oh, oh. These are the items. I'm almost 100% positive we won't need all of them, but whatever. Man, I don't know if you've ever played pinball. Because... Uh, I think there's like a weird demographic out there who has ne probably never actually played a legit pinball machine. Um, and by weird I mean they're just younger than I am. So let's see. Uh, I need one. Uh, uh, this is actually annoying. I also brought the wrong one of these. <laughs> so I'm doing great so far. It's working out though. There we go. Um, so my dad was is a trucker. He still is. Um, and when I was little he used to take me truck riding in some places. I can't remember exact places. I want to say it's like Washington because we used to live in California. So we would go, you know, just up and down. That was his basic route. But the greatest thing about being, besides spending time with my dad, which I did not appreciate as a kid because I was a dumbass little kid. So I'd cry. I actually cried for Taco Bell, which is something that um, my family never let me live down ever. So that's fun. Um, but one of the things is that at every other truck stop, there was like a brand new pin pin pinball machine that you just play. And I was like, this is awesome. And I don't know if that exists anymore, because pinball machines are actually like super high, um, commodities, is that the right word for it? But they're like hard to find because, if you, I don't know if you've ever looked at what's inside of a arcade cabinet, but it's basically insta-death. If you fuck, if you screw up in some way in touching it, um, like it's possible to get shocked by one and completely like, it, actually look it up. Look at all the ways that if you are taking if you are taking handle of an arcade machine, how many ways it can kill you? Because it can kill you if you're trying to lift it up in some way. It can kill you if you accidentally try and fix the backside of the socket and it will electrocute you to death. If you lean on it too hard, it will kill you. Um, so of course, even though I mentioned an arcade cabinet, pinball machines are basically the exact same thing, except for they're like, um, they're like arcade machines that you can see the insides of, because you can see like little flipper balls and you can see all that other good stuff inside of it. It's real fun. I'm a fan of, uh, you know, I say I brought the wrong one and it ended up working out for me. <laughs> It ended up working out for me. I usually don't get this unlucky with everything. Wow, really? Mm. So, we're skipping this turn, I suppose. Man, I'm talking so much about pinball, I've neglected to see this. Which is a lot of bad here, but it should be fine. Uh, I learned the reason I did that because I wasn't 100% positive that Broly wasn't going to cost me the fight immediately, so. Uh. Back to what I was saying, though. What was I talking about? Um, did I sh Yeah, I did. Okay. So I'm gonna do this. Then I'll do this. I'm gonna give it to Boo, because Boo's actually very helpful to me. It doesn't matter who gets to the win, though. Um, so yeah, arcade machines and pinball machines in general are a dying breed. It's only really people who grew up... Even before me, because pinball machines and arcade machines were even before my time, because they were around in the 80s and I want to say 70s for pinball machines. They had been around for a while. Oh, there's my dog. Not happy about their current living situation in the background. I don't blame them. Um, they're out in the rain. Um, actually, what am I trying? What was I talking about? Arcade machines? But yeah. I love playing a good old pinball machine. I still love playing on arcade machines as well. They're just so rare. It actually makes me very sad, in a way, 
which I'm not sure if it's the same for kids who are like growing up like the idea of like oh these kids don't get to experience what I experience but the, the usually it's kind of like eh, whatever two different lives two different experiences right live and let live the one thing I won't give up is the fact that um, I feel like Chuck E. Cheese is way worse now and it's a way worse in a way that's like uh, if you actually go inside a Chuck E. Cheese, and if you've ever been inside Chuck E. Cheese during peak Chuck E. Cheese hours, which is when you were alive, I suppose, you'll find that it's just not the same anymore. It's changed in such a horrific, scary way. Um, let me go here. And it's like, the, the worst thing about it, and this is something that's like, it bothers me every time I see it, they kill perfectly good pinball machines to make their shitty token games. So, if, for example, the one that I usually used to go to, and I think I've seen it in a couple other Chuck E. Cheese's, there's a specific arcade machine where it's like, it looks like Simpsons themed. That's taken straight from a Simpsons arcade uh, cabinet that was, um, that was a pinball machine. The Simpsons are a pinball machine. And they completely got it, and they like, they use all the inside assets of it, but the the end goal is no longer playing um, pinball. It's putting a quarter in it and then seeing it fly off somewhere. I'm like, oh, this actually hurts me to see. You you've killed a perfectly good pinball machine for what is in essence a shitty gotcha mechanic in real life. Maybe that's why I'm uh, so likely to play so many gotchas now is that I'm actually just looking for the thrill I once had when I went to a bunch of this guy has a level 6, are you serious? I almost touched it too I touched it, that's unfortunate uh, so yeah it's Chuck E. Cheese's make me sad still good pizza though uh, I think Black Knight 2000 is reaching near the end of its big ol' Uh, no, it's not. It's actually halfway done. Let me see if I can find... Nah, I'll deal with it later. Uh, let me see. Okay, so we got a stun here. So that's good for me. I think I'll go here and hope that some more reds open up. And nothing really. Alright then. I'll have to leave it up to the next one. This is why I need to bring in my item for it. That's just the way it is. There's just not enough actual um, key to sustain the team itself. Especially if you get unlucky and get Frieza and Broly next to each other. There we go. Okay. Boo's got it from this point on. Um, but yeah. But in general, I don't like the stuff that is inside a Chuck E. Cheese nowadays. Back in my day, um, there used to be actual arcade machines where it's like... That's where I actually used to play stuff like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade machine, the X-Men arcade machine, and the Simpsons arcade machine. And it was awesome. Uh, they were cheap as hell in terms of actual gameplay. If you've ever, ever actually played an arcade game in modern day, I don't understand if any kid can understand fully how fun an arcade game is, because they're so bullshit in design because they're only designed to pump quarters into you but once you no longer have like the idea of like oh I only have like a set amount of quarters I feel like the entire mystique of the difficulty is gone uh, and it's replaced instead with kind of like this is just a very boring but also very hard beat em up you can do it I can do it alright let me see I need a there we go Perfect. Uh, nine minutes in. This is different stages of the pinball machine that's going currently going through. Damn that dog! It's gonna constantly bug me that it's doing that in the background. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese. I wonder if kids still go to Chuck E. Cheese. Apparently they do. So. I'm glad it's thriving at the very least, I suppose. Even if it's not the one that I specifically like anymore. Let me see. Do it. I'm telling you, man. There's obviously, I think, a better team that he could run this Broly on, but... I just use this team. I actually don't care enough about the World Tournament to completely min-max it. So I'm making a lot of mistakes in this, but that's fine. 
I have two AoE units and it's Boo and it's uh, Broly, so I'm using both. Simple, clean. I do hate that Boo, uh, Broly loses his AoE at that stage, but it's fine, whatever. Yeah. Actually, I guess kids still, in a way, are fascinated with um, Chucky Juice, because that's the only way that I could see like Five Nights at Freddy's getting so popular. Yeah, the idea of like. Wow, the cre the <laughs> the scary bear is an animatronic man. It's coming to kill you. It all comes from like people who went to go see a Chuck E. Cheese and notice how freaking scary uh, those animatronics were. Cause they're terrifying to look at. Like the people in the suits or whatever, like they can be friendly and they can be like jokey and jovial with you, but the actual animatronics were terrifying. There's just like, no getting over the fact that they're scary. Is there any bonus? No bonus. Great. And I get this part of every world tournament. And by this part, I mean the world tournament. Oh, no. I thought it was over there for a second. It was not. Well. Oh, it's fine because, I, yeah, okay. Uh, Chiaotzu stunned them. So, boom. Perfect. Good job, Chatsu. Um, that was the game over. That means it's... No, it's not. It's in, like, a weird part of the song. What... What are they even calling this? 1157. The King's Ransom. I don't know. Weird. Anyway, this thing died. Wouldn't it be great if I just looked back and I actually had died? But that's not happening. I hate this shit, too. The World Tournament was designed by masochistic assholes with the sole purpose of making you have the least amount of fun possible. There's, like, no way around it. It's... It's maybe one of the worst game modes in any gacha ever it thought into existence. Let's see here. I mean, if I get AoE'd this early, maybe I deserve to die. Do you ever think about that? Maybe you deserve to lose the World Tournament when you're playing it. Ready for battle. Keep your money. Keep the Black Knight. And we'll fall. Man, this is just a real good song. You can't see me dancing to it, but I am dancing to it. Doing it. What other things was I gonna say? I don't know. I'm very tired. It's funny, even though I have no work thanks to the coronavirus, I am still not getting the most sleep imaginable. But hey, what can you do? The dogs are not gonna stop, and eventually that's gonna wake up my uncle. So I'm gonna have to probably cut this video short before this entire session gets just gets ruined in general. So we'll end it after this. I'm sorry. I was hoping for a louder ground grind and talk, but I literally can't if there's going to be a whiny dog every five seconds. So we'll end it there. Hope you enjoy your World Tournament grind, by the way. There is something oddly soothing about the World Tournament, even though I think it's trash. I don't know. It's kind of like... You know when school had SATs and everyone had to do it, so everyone kind of had to suffer and change their schedule to this dumb thing everyone had to do? That's what the World Tournament is. So, with that, I'll say goodbye, everyone. I'm gonna go check on my dog, and I hope you guys have a good day. Happy grinding, everyone, and give me your money.